the co-hosting of the Euro 2012 football championships by Poland and, and Ukraine obviously means a huge deal to, to the populations of, of both countries. Perhaps Poland has, has really seized the nettle a bit more in terms of the PR campaign, which has been singularly ineffective, unfortunately, from the Ukrainian point of view. Although if we look at the infrastructure in Ukraine, the, what's been done with the, the airports, the, the stadiums, it is of a really high quality. And I think a lot of visitors will be surprised just how much progress has been made in that country. Well, if we look back to the, the traditions of football in, in Ukraine under the years of Valery Lobanovsky at, um, at Dynamo Kiev, the legendary coach. It was very much a scientific approach. The, the dietary requirements, the measuring the blood pressure, analyzing the eyesight of players, estimating their reaction times, learning scientific patterns of play. This is an approach that has been brought in Western European countries at a much later stage, and a lot of these techniques are very much accepted now in, 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 in many leading football clubs, but they were really pioneered in Ukraine and to, to a certain extent that, that philosophy still survives there. Well, we've had several um, leading Ukrainian players who've played in, in England, and I think a lot of the, the f English fans are going to be very familiar with Andriy Shevchenko, who, who played at Chelsea. Previously to that, he was at, at, at Milan when he was probably at his peak. Serhii Rebrov played at, at Tottenham and Voronin played at, at, at Liverpool. There's a number of Ukrainian players that, um, that, that people are familiar with. But, you know, if we look further back in history, Donetsk was founded by a, a, a Welshman, John Hughes, with the city originally called Huzovka in his honour. And a lot of the, the words in the local lexicon really originate from the, from the English language. If we look at shorty, for shorts, corner, penalty, futbolka for t-shirt, and of course the, the quaint trenerovka for the training or, or coaching session. So I think um, the, the Welsh, the British, they really left a, a lasting legacy in, in, in Ukraine in terms of football. I'm really looking forward to um, firstly the, the borscht and the, the vareniki and the um, eating the the, the, the traditional recipes, soaking in the atmosphere in Kiev and, and, wa and watching some fo football.